Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Cardinals versus Marlins Major League Baseball matchup on Sunday, April 7th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that one-on-one concierge style service. We offer these products. They're just not available on the website. They're still easy to get. You just got to text the number you see on the screen. So if you make big bets like I do, go ahead and text that number. But let's get to it. It's the Cardinals taking on the Marlins. Of course, the Marlins off to that dreadful start to the season, but still, you know, doesn't mean we have to sugarcoat what the Cardinals have done so far this season, which is really nothing special at all. In fact, in that first game against the Marlins, it was a big comeback by the Cardinals. And for the Marlins, really, while it's been a dreadful start to the season, it's really just been a dreadful start to the season for the bullpen. The bats have been there. The starting pitching has been there. And usually in most of these games, they've had the lead. If you bet Marlins first five innings, you've been cashing. And I think if it continues in the trend that they've been going and the pace they're going at this season, we're going to have a lot of value to be made on the Marlins' first five innings because they've been they've been fairly good out of the gate. But of course, closing it out, it couldn't be a, a couldn't be much worse. In this one, we've got uh, Kyle Gibson on the mound for the Cardinals up against Max Meyer for the for the Marlins. And you know, Kyle Gibson he, last time out, uh, he. They uh, four hits, two walks, two runs, both of them earned, and both of them came on home runs, and he got the win in that matchup. Comes in 2.57 ERA. You know, I'm really less than convinced. I mean, he did get the win against the Padres there, but throughout his career, Kyle Gibson isn't a 2.57 ERA guy. He's a five ERA guy and high fours on, on a good year. He did have the one uh, stint with Texas with the 2.87. He was traded to Philadelphia and quickly ballooned to that ERA back in that five range where we've seen him. Max Meyer on the mound here for the Marlins. He has a pretty big high side to him. And, you know, he was one of these hard luck pitchers for the Marlins. He pitched pretty well in his outing. Five innings, two hits, two runs, both earned one home run, two walks, four strikeouts. Really not a bad pitching line at all, but you know, the Marlins ended up losing that game to the Angels. It was once again the bullpen who was victimized. You know, when we look at, uh, you know, these teams, and like I said, you know, the, the record when it comes to uh, some situations just doesn't tell the whole story. And I think what it tells us the story for the Marlins is that their bullpen has just been really bad. And I, I'll continue to say that over and over again because that's where the damage has been done. You look at the, um, you look at the, at the at the starting pitching for the Marlins it hasn't been great 5.35 but that bullpen ERA 6.58 and for the Cardinals the starting pitching has been really susceptible 4.97 and then 3.98 for the bullpen hardly anything that endears yourself to this Cardinals team I have to say that I think there's going to be value on the Marlins maybe we'll be on the on on board just a little too early I'd rather be a drop early than way too late I'm going to take the Marlins in this one and that's going to be my free pick of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.